What's the crack? Today I'm with my girlfriend, Vampire Anne. Hello. She says hello. Say hello. And we're going to be playing a game of Would You Rather with metal music. Rock and metal edition. Rock and metal edition. So we're going to get three bands, three uh, singers, s singers, guitarists, bass players and drummers. And we're going to see what each person thinks of the other. So we came up with three each. Yeah. First one. Is this bands, is it? Bands. Okay, bands. Bands. Number one. Metallica or Slipknot? Metallica. Okay. That's really easy. I'll, I'll do my one, so we'll go one and one and one and one. Okay. So, just got a message from you saying that you're on the bus, apparently. <laughs> Korn or Rammstein? Oh. Uh -huh. I would have to go with... Oh God, because I love both of them. Mm -hmm. um, that's why I chose them. Oh, okay. I would have to go with the band that I started listening to the earliest. So I would say... <laughs> People keep talking to me. I don't want to talk to them. <laughs> I would have to go with Rammstein just because I discovered them very early in life and I, they were one of the first bands I've really got into. I love Korn, but Cancer Bats or the Dillinger Escape Plan. Fuck you. <laughs> Um, cancer bats. Really? Yeah. I just I've been listening to them longer, and you have to be in a mood to listen to yeah. Dillinger. Mm -hmm. You need to be in a mood. For so Dillinger, Dillinger is amazing. Yeah, but you need to be in a mood. But cancer bats have like a ton of different styles. Yeah. True. Whereas like with Dillinger, it's like either I'm in that mood or I'm not in that mood. Yeah. Okay. So my second one for you is Icebreaker or Blue Tangle. Oh, okay. I um, done good. You, I you thought done I, good. I thought I chose some pretty bad ones, but apparently I got a good nah, one. Nah, he done good. This one's mm. well. Again, I love both, but I'm gonna base this off which one I've seen live and which one I listen to more often. I do listen to Blue Tangle a lot, but I'm gonna go with Icebreaker. Icebreaker. Is it because Blue Tangle is for all the fourteen-year-old kids as well? <laughs> no, I just I've seen Icebreaker live, and they are absolutely incredible. So. Okay. And your third and final one for me is? My third and final one for you is... Oh, okay. Rage Against the Machine uh -huh. or Red Hot Chili Peppers? I've been listening to Red Hot Chili Peppers since I was born, but I <laughs> listen to Rage... <laughs> no, for real. Like, I mean, my dad listened to them a lot, but my whole thing now is I think Rage are a lot more... You know, they they're not so dated. Mm -hmm. Whereas, you know, Red Hot Chili Peppers are still going now, but I'm not so into them anymore. I'd say, I'd say Rage is one of those bands that are just timeless. Like, their music will never... Yeah, for real. You don't know, get boring. And my third and final band decision for you is the most difficult one, I thought. Is it System of the Down or Marilyn Manson? <laughs> Where's my act of milk? <laughs> okay, so... Cheers. Oh, cheers. Um... I haven't seen System of a Down live, unfortunately, but I would absolutely love to. They are my second favourite band aside from Cradle of Filth. Marlon Manson, I flew to Utrecht just to see him. Do you know what? Oh my god. I'm gonna have to go with System of a Down. Okay. Yeah, I love System of a Down. I, I love that. Marlon Manson so much. But I disagree, but I still respect your mm -hmm. opinion. I love Marlon Manson, but System of a Down. I mean, they're incredible. Okay, good shit. Yeah. Next one is guitarists. Jim Root from Slipknot or Brendan Small, the guitarist of Death Clock. Brendan Small. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's like, I think he writes riffs more, whereas with Slipknot, they're more like, you know, they're not a riff band. I don't know why they ever win, like, riff competitions. Like, yeah, they're great guitarists, but the riffs they write are a lot more simplistic and Brendan Small just, like... Yeah, he's amazing. He's really good. Mm -hmm. My first one for you is Richard Clusp from Ramstein mm -hmm. or John Five. Oh my! Um... Bearing in mind that John Five was also in Rob Zombie mm -hmm. and had his own solo project, and is not just in Marilyn Manson. Hence, why I'm going to go for John Five <laughs> because he's absolutely amazing. Um, again, I love Ramstein, but. You know, it's John Five. Yeah, your second guitarist choice. My second guitarist choice mm -hmm. is Dimebag Daryl mm -hmm. or Mick Thompson. 
Daryl. Yeah. Again, Nick okay. Thompson is amazing and his technique is just beyond human, but Dimebag wrote the riffs. Yeah. I also, I love his way. tone. A lot of people don't like Dimebag's tone. I loved his tone. Mm -hmm. Actually, I had Mick Thompson as well. Oh, no way. Mick Thompson or Richard Shaw? Richard Shaw. Mick Thompson from Slipknot or Richard Shaw from Cradle of Filth? Richard Shaw, hands down, because um, just a bonus, uh, I actually met Richard Shaw twice and spoke to him at the sound check and he is so, so nice as well as extremely talented, so Richard Shaw, hands down. Okay, mm. what's your third? My third one for you. Ho, ho, ho. Tom Morello. Okay. Or Kirk Hammett. Um, Tom Morello. How come? Because Kirk doesn't write the majority of the riffs in Metallica. Mm -hmm. And he might be uh, better in a lot of ways, but Tom Morello is a lot more experimental with his sound. Mm -hmm. And he writes all of the riffs in Rage Against... or wrote all the riffs in Rage Against the Machine. Plus he has a new album that came out like this year or last year. And it's like, imagine Rage Against the Machine with dubstep mixed in. Mm -hmm. That came out like last year. He was in the Night Watchmen. He was in Prophets of Rage doing all that stuff as well. So he's just done so much stuff. Whereas I think Kirk Hammett, still one of my idols. But I'm more into like riffs and rhythm stuff than lead stuff anyway. Yeah. So Alexi Leho from Children of Bodom or mm -hmm. Sinister Gates from Avenged Sevenfold. Alexi Leho. Why? Because... Because he looks sexier? Oh. <laughs> no, I... He just can't beat a good... Where's he from? Finland! <laughs> Somewhere. A good Finn. But, um... Vocalists. What is your first vocalist for me? My first vocalist for you would be... Um, I hope that I pronounce these names right. Uh, <laughs> uh, Liam Cormier. Is that how you pronounce his name? Cormier. Cormier. It's a French name, so Cormier. Okay, okay. And, okay, so Liam or Greg Puziato? <laughs> so, Liam from Cancer Bats or Greg from Dillinger? Yeah. Um, Liam. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, for just vocals, Greg. For vocals and lyrics, Liam. Okay. Hands down. Okay, cool. That's really difficult. Okay. My first vocalist one for you is Phil Bozeman from Whitechapel or CJ McMahon from every deathcore band. <laughs> he has been in like four or five bands, hasn't know, he? No, but Die Hard is Murder. But Die Hard is Murder is the... Yeah, so... I love Die Hard is Murder. Um, Whitechapel. I'm going to have to go with CJ. Okay. I love... Can Die CJ Hard. sing as well? Yeah. Is, it, is that vocals and lyrics you're going for, or is it more so just the sound? I'm gonna go for the sound in this in for this one because yeah, CJ is just amazing. I love CJ. Ah, your second vocalist for My me. My second one for your shelf. Keith Flint or Zach De La Rocha. Do you just put that? Okay, I mean because I'm sad about him. Same. Yeah. It's still Zach. I, I'm not just gonna say because he's passed away that I prefer him. Well, be honest. I mean, yeah, so it's Keith I mean, Flint from The Prodigy who recently passed away. Yeah, that was really sad. But we did get to see The Prodigy live. Yeah. So that's why. And you know how much I love that show. Oh, they were amazing. It was incredible. And it is super sad. But even I put up on Instagram, like, the only thing you can really do is be happy for the music that's still there. Yeah. Rather than being, like, super sad about him not being around anymore because so many people now are just going to be posting like oh my god I love the prodigy so much like oh my goodness like oh look, like Firestarter is like my anthem it's like, <laughs> like uh like people don't know any other songs by them and they're name gonna be like, one other song other than Firestarter Out of Space yeah or Omen yeah. Or Spitfire 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 is really good like a lot of really really good songs but I would still go for Zach de la Rocha in terms of just the way he phrases stuff. My second one for you, for vocalists, is Wednesday 13 or Vil Vallo. Vil Vallo, hands down. Really? I like Wednesday 13, but... Is that counting Wednesday 13 and Murder Dolls? Yeah. <gasps> I started listening to him at a very early age, probably around eight or nine years old I was. Mm -hmm. And I just, just like, love at first listen. So, 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, here's a bit of a hard one for you. Okay. Lay it on me. James Hetfield or Corey Taylor? James Hatfield. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Because both of them went through stages where they weren't as amazing live at singing. Um, but the difference is if you listen to something like The Unforgiven Three, mm -hmm. or if you listen to Spit Out the Bone, or if you listen to anything that Metallica have written on Hardwired and you listen to them doing that live, that's perfect. Whereas if you go listen to Slipknot doing the Grey Chapter, Corey is doing a lot better than he was a couple of years ago, but he's like 10, 15 years younger than James Hetfield and he still can't quite sound exactly like he did on the record. Yeah, okay. So I, I'll go for that because both of them are pretty much equal in terms of lyrics and vocals in studio for me, so I'm just basing that entire decision on live performance. My last one, is it? Mm -hmm. You're gonna, I think you're gonna be really annoyed at this one. Ash Costello from New Year's Day mm -hmm. or Maria Brink from In This Moment? Maria Brink. Wow, that I was love, quick. I, I really like Ash Costello and I've met her as well. No, but um, she's also half Irish now because she married Jimmy. Oh yeah. Yes, yeah, so well, you have to choose her. She's one oh, of us. Oh damn it. Okay, well I do like Ash Costello and she is such a sweetheart. I've met her and I saw them live as well. But Maria just has that like when you listen to in this moment, you you just feel exactly what she's talking about. You, like you, oh, I thought you were about to voice. talk about her like shouting. I'm like, yeah, you can tell she's a mom. Yeah, like she can sing. <laughs> she can sing. Like she sings, and there's just so much power and passion in her voice. It's just so, oh, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>